Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hello, and this is Tyranny Watch News for July 19th, 2014, Anno Domini. Israeli offensive into Gaza continues and is intensifying. Lead stories from the New York Times, twice before Israel is battled with Hamas, twice before Israel is halted under international pressure without eliminating the threat of rocket fire. It says that According to this, uh, Hamas is pretty much on their own, so we might wind up seeing Hamas, Hamas's ability to hit Israel is really weakened. The problem is the next story would tend to indicate otherwise, as we'll see. Apparently, all of this is different because they don't have Hamas doesn't have Egypt on its side because of changes there, and Obama grows is too busy going to fundraisers to really give a hoot. So who knows? We might see uh, a better eradication this time of. Hamas abilities to uh, do this type of thing. However, the problem is that worldwide uh, protests against Israel and against Jews are increasing. In Turkey, um, Israel is evacuating families of diplomats in Turkey after violence erupted during pro-Palestinian manifestations. That's a way of saying that they're trying to kill Jews. Palestinian supporters, Palestine supporters held the Israeli diplomatic missions in Ankara and Istanbul with stones following Israel's decision to launch ground invasion in the Gaza Thursday evening. Several Turkish deputies also rallied in support of the Palestinians. That's just lovely. So Israel is being subjected to the usual hatred. Jews are being subjected to the usual hatred, but it gets worse. See, the problem with this is that the Palestinians got what uh, Hamas does with Palestinians is they put the rocket launchers right smack dab in the areas where Palestinians live and work and so forth. So when Israel has to hit them, they also kill civilians. And then what happens is press gets a hold of that and stirs up worldwide sympathy for Palestinians and anger against the Jews and the cycle continues. You gotta remember the mainstream media is full of anti-Semites. Don't kid yourself, they hate Jews. They hate them with uh, total passion. Alright, so let's look at the protests worldwide. This is from the Times of Israel. Thousands of protesters in numerous cities worldwide turned to the streets 
Thursday and Friday from Cairo to Istanbul, to Washington to demand an immediate halt of Israel's ground incursion in the Gaza Strip and call on the international community to intervene on behalf of Gazans. They want us to go to war against Israel, which isn't going to happen. In Istanbul, police warned off hundreds of rioters who attempted um, Thursday to storm the Israeli emb embassy building. Can't even over that. And in the Polish city of Krakow, a group of Israelis were assaulted and spat on in the main square by a group of pro Palestinian. Palestinian protesters. They approached us and hit cameras we were holding. This is really son of the Polish demonstrators. They shot at us, calling us killers and criminals. Following a pro Palestinian demonstration in Berlin on Thursday, in which participants chanted anti Jewish slogans, American Jewish Committee. Berlin office filed a complaint with police. According to press statement, marchers chanted, Juju, cowardly pig, come out, come on out and fight. You would have think the uh, Germans would have had enough of Nazis in World War II, but I, apparently not. So... What's basically happening is this is pretty easy to understand if you understand what these people are. The people in mainstream press especially are nothing more than anti-Semites. They hate Jews. That's the definition of an anti-Semite. Right? They hate Jews. And They all kind of work together. The Hamas puts missile launchers and stuff in with civilians. They fire the missiles. Missiles hit Israel or get shot down with Iron Dome. And then Israel retaliates and Palestinians wind up getting killed. That's phase one. And then the uh, Hamas allies and media turn around and they point out all the Palestinians have been killed and almost no Israelis have died and, set, and they start pointing fingers at Israel. Instead of pointing fingers where they belong slowly at Hamas for putting people in harm's way. See, if Hamas really cared about Palestinians, they would put their rocket launchers a long ways away from those people in isolated areas and keep people away. And that's if they actually cared about Palestinian people, which they don't. They're actually responsible for the deaths of Palestinians, not Israel, because Israel's trying to defend itself. So, anyway, the... Uh, Mainstream press puts out news, makes it look like it's Israel's fault, and then all the Jew haters in the world come out, and Jew Israel's forced to withdraw because of all the Jew haters worldwide coming after them, and then Hamas the rebuilds their missile launchers and the cycle repeats. That's basically what is happening here. The anti-Semitic hatred in the me world media is just beyond belief. And that's just anti-Semitic. There's other things to it, too. Well, that's basically what you have happening here. Anyway, that's uh, first edition of Tyranny Watch News for July 19th, 2014. This is a part of your world, not the only thing going on. Thank you for listening, and we'll try to do a second part.